Web applications have become an essential part of our daily lives, and most businesses rely on some form of web application to reach their customers. My name is Rob DeFeo, and I'm a startup advocate at AWS and the host of Startup Engineering Podcast. I spend my time helping founders, CTOs, and engineers build their technology and products. In this short video, we'll use the example of an online comic book store to go over the key requirements when building web applications. I'll explain the most relevant AWS services and the simplest way to get started. Today, you are the founder of Unicorn Comic Books, a fictitious online comic book store where fans can buy and sell comics and get to stay up to date with the latest releases. So where should you start? I'll go over the basics and the main features and how to implement and deploy each of them. Your users will use a website to buy and sell the comics online. HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files are the building blocks for all websites. These files are responsible for the structure and the style, and they can dramatically change the appearance. Text, images, and videos make up the content, and these change at least some part for each page. Websites can be static or dynamic. The rough way I like to think about the difference is who makes the content on the page change. If the pages only change when the website owner updates a page or creates a new blog article, this means the website is static, or at least it should be. If someone or something other than the website owner causes the contents of the page to change, then it's a dynamic site. This can be users clicking on something, changing text, or values, which then cause the page to change. Filling in a search form and then getting different results is a common example we see in news every day. Data or external resources are examples of something that can change the content of a page. Imagine the product page for our comic books has the price, the inventory count, and the shipping calculator. These values come from application programming interfaces or commonly known as APIs. Websites use JavaScript language to communicate via the API to these external resources and then change the web page content or layout based on the results. Your users will want a fast, secure, and interactive website. At the same time, you'll want to build a simple website that you can iterate with over time and keep both your development and hosting costs as low as possible. The less time that you spend building, the faster you can get to market and the less that you'll have to maintain. If you're able to get this balance right, you'll have more time to build features and to grow your business. Next, I'll cover hosting, APIs, authentication, and notifications. These are common building blocks and requirements for Unicorn Comics, but virtually all websites will use at least one, and in most cases, all three and many more. So first, hosting. Websites that are fast and reliable often use an object store and a content delivery network, or CDN, to give a reliable and fast hosting experience. S3 provides low-cost, reliable storage, and used with CloudFront, it provides the fastest possible browsing experience. Each time your user navigates to the website, they send data from where they physically are to your web servers. Points of presence, or POPs, allow copies of your most common parts of your website to be hosted at the edge close to your users. This means instead of every user needing to load the website from one central location, CloudFront will navigate them from the point of presence that is closest to them out of 216 placed around the globe. The result is your website will load faster and you prevent users from being frustrated with slow load times. If content is unavailable at the closest edge point, CloudFront will get it from the source, in this case S3, and then look to store it as close to the user at the edge as possible. Your comic book website can be split into two, a blog with the latest news and announcements, and a store with the ability to buy and sell. In the past, a web server would generate content and deliver it to your users based on the requests they make. Doing this means that you need to monitor and scale and pay for a fleet of web servers. This traditional approach of building can get expensive as you need to have enough extra capacity for spikes of users hitting your website and today, there are faster and cheaper and more reliable ways to accomplish the same result. Now you can use static site generators and single page applications hosted on S3 and CloudFront 
to remove the need for traditional web servers. Static site generators combine templates, structure, and content to build every page, and they're a good way to create fixed pages or fixed parts of a website, such as the blog. After each update to articles or any changes to templates, the static site generator will run and then will update and create a new version for each page. Single page applications provide dynamic functionality to users by accessing remote data and business logic through an API. Front-end frameworks make building single page applications easier. Common examples of these frameworks include React, Angular, Vue.js, Ionic, and Ember. Startups host web applications easily using AWS Amplify Console. You can host a single page application built with any framework or static site generator, such as Gatsby, Eleventy, Hugo, Vuepress, or Jekyll. And there's no service to manage, and it's globally available without having to configure S3 buckets or CloudFront. Getting started is simple. Amplify Console integrates with your Git workflow to provide continuous deployment. Connect your Git repository, and after each Git push, a deployment is made, and you can see the changes. Feature branch deployment and password protection create isolated and secure test environments for you to test with before deploying and releasing to your users. This is the approach I now see startups using to host blogs and single page applications. Your store needs access to a database and information such as stock levels or prices and other external services like a shipping calculator. Websites use APIs or application programming interfaces to communicate over the internet. They are how web applications communicate with resources in your environment. Web APIs typically come in two flavors, REST and GraphQL. REST, which stands for Representational State Transfer, is an established way of communicating over the internet. It represents resources with URLs and then uses commands such as get, post, put, and delete that will create, read, update, and delete resources. This combination of actions is commonly known as CRUD. For your online store, a GET request to slash products will return a list of all the comics. And a GET request to slash products slash ID will return a single comic. API Gateway is how developers create and maintain these secure REST APIs at any scale. It supports the open API standard that developers use to define and document REST APIs, and it makes it easy to then integrate with the tools and create code. GraphQL is a query language where you have control over what data it returns. Like REST, it communicates over HTTP, but it does things a little bit differently. It uses one endpoint, and the requests are either a query, a mutation, or a subscription. Queries are like GET in REST, but with more features, and they're similar to a database query. Used correctly, they can be an effective way to get data from your backend. Website code is able to specify filters and fields to return, reducing the size of each response by only returning the rows and the data required. Take the scenario where you need a specific product detail for all the comments in stock. A single query can return everything at once with GraphQL. Using REST, you would have to perform one request to get the list, and then one additional request per item to get the detail. Mutation is the term GraphQL uses for updating or deleting data. Typically, permissions will be applied to each of these actions. Subscriptions are used to receive updates to data as they change, without having to do polling. This makes interactive features like showing the latest number of orders and information appear in real time on the screen, or applications such as chat easier to build. Startups do all this and more with AppSync, and they're able to build scalable applications that receive real time updates across a wide range of data sources. Startups use AWS Amplify to configure both types of API. REST APIs work best when you're confident how the website or the client will talk to the API. And GraphQL gives you more flexibility and is suited to front-end developers.
Although building an online store sounds like a static and well understood problem, for Unicorn Comics, I suggest you use GraphQL. This will allow web developers to make changes based on customer feedback quicker, as they can change the response data by editing the request and without having to change the backend code. You can find out more about the types of APIs and the tools for building them in the video Building Your API. Your users need to feel secure when using your website. This is essential to build trust. So every user should have an account and through that account, be able to easily and securely list items, place orders, pay, and leave a review. Authentication is the first security control your users come into contact with. It could be they log in via a username and password, or they link their social account. Or additional security features include using multiple forms of authentication, like an input from a token that changes regularly, or a code that's delivered to your phone. Amazon Cognito is a simple, secure, and it supports these use cases and more of the functionality that you and your users will expect, such as login, sign up, and confirming your email address, and then retrieving forgotten passwords. With Cognito, you can choose between a user pool, where users sign up with usernames and passwords, or social federation, where users connect their social identity, such as their Twitter, Facebook or Google accounts. And making this choice, I'd suggest make it guided by the preferences of your users. Cognito integrates with Identity Access Management, or IAM, which allows granular access to any AWS service. The best practice is to grant only the minimum permissions required, and Amplify makes it easy to configure social federation or user pools with the corresponding IAM permissions. Now you have a blog and an online store that is reliable, fast, and can interact with any external resource via an API, and is also secure. Use notifications to engage your customers. Now notifications can take many forms, and they depend on the device your users have. They could be an email, an SMS, a mobile push, or even voice. The most simple example is sending an email to all your users. I have received many of these email blasts, but rarely do they have the desired effect. And that's because I can't think of a time or situation where all of your users will want to receive the same message at the same time and also the same stage of using your product. Try creating notifications based on user behavior and then run experiments. Pinpoint allows you to understand and engage with your users by sending personalized and relevant messages. It gathers and understands your customer usage and engagement analytics and uses these to send relevant notifications at the best time. And it's based on how your customers use your site and how they've historically responded to previous outreach. You can take it one step further by using artificial intelligence services such as Personalize and Comprehend to customize the experience for your users. As a startup, you know you need to build and iterate rapidly, but you should not compromise on the standards your users expect, especially security, but also speed and reliability. Amplify Console and the Amplify Framework create secure and reliable, fast and cost-efficient hosting for your website and API. Using the Amplify CLI tool, you can easily configure authentication using Cognito, analytics and notifications with Pinpoint, plus more as you grow, including artificial intelligence services. Yes, you can configure all this through the console, the API, or with CloudFormation, but Amplify takes care of that for you, and it gives you the option to configure any of the resources or customize them as needed, and later you can integrate with any other AWS service at any time. For more information on any of these topics discussed in this video, please take a look, a look at the resources section. And to get your questions answered by experts, go to the expert bar and speak to a startup solution architect. Remember to sign up to Activate for three technical training, support, and credits. Activate gives you a head start. 
and it's used by the most successful startups, including Stripe, Klarna, and Slack. $1,000 is available to bootstrap startups, and it grows with you, with credits available up to $100,000 through our venture capital partners. To hear directly from the engineering teams at startups, subscribe to the Startup Engineering Podcast, where founders, CTOs, and engineers walk through how they overcame technical challenges and built their products.